Kisses Sweeter Than Wine is the fifth episode of the third season of Frasier. This is directed by Philip Charles Mackenzie. And there will be spoilers from now as I discuss what happens in this episode and talk about things that I enjoyed. I don't have tremendously extensive notes on this. I do have some and I will go through those. But I really enjoyed this episode, even if I don't have that many notes. It starts off down at KACL. We have a great moment between Roz and a caller talking about Wisconsin. And then Fraser establishes the main narrative by saying he is hosting uh, the wine club at his apartment that evening. And the rest of the episode is in the apartment. It starts off with him trying to move Martin's chair. Martin's not happy about this, but nevertheless, they're moving the chair. They drop it. There is a scratch on the floor and Fraser ends up employing somebody to sort this scratch out. It's a contractor called Joe, played by Tony Carrero. And immediately there is flirtation between Joe and Daphne. I loved the exchange. So well written, great performances with the honey buns and the sugar. I just thought that was uh, really, really delightful. And things are obviously going forward, but also not a lot seems to be happening. There's a lot of flirting, not a lot of work being done. Frasier comes out, comes home again, and that has changed. Suddenly there is work going on everywhere. And there are other workers in the flat or in the apartment and they're doing goodness knows what with the electricals. And of course, time is of the essence because the wine club is coming over imminently. And Niles is there not really doing very much, to be honest, other than doting after Daphne. And he gets wind of the fact that Daphne likes Joe. She's interested in him. So Niles tells a lie and refers to Joe basically as a womanizer. And this isn't great. Obviously, we don't want Niles to lie to Daphne. But he's trying to, in his eyes, protect her from going out with somebody who he doesn't believe is good enough for her, but also he wants to be with Daphne as well. Did Niles really have good intentions? Was he lying for Daphne's benefit? I'd say it was more for Niles' benefit. But we do get a good moment with Niles. And this comes about because... Niles, I was going to say eventually tells Daphne, but it's actually quite quick, quite quickly tells Daphne that he was mistaken. Joe isn't a womanizer, and rather than coming out with the fact that he was lying, they somehow managed to make it that he was mistaken, genuinely mistaken, and the stories he'd heard were about Bruce. And Bruce is uh, another worker. He's played by... Peter Siragusa, and he's an absolute delight. And Niles makes amends. Not that it excuses what he did, but he makes amends by telling Joe kind of the truth. And this is a really interesting point, at least I think it's interesting, because Niles says all of these great things to Joe to basically say, "You, you should go and ask her out again. She is this wonderful person. And I feel like this might be the first time, or at least one of the first times, where we get a sense from Niles that he's not just physically attracted to Daphne, that he has started to develop much more meaningful feelings, which is awkward because he's married to Maris. But up until this point, or at least near this point, it seems like he was just attracted to her. She's beautiful. Of course he would be. But actually, there's this suggestion here that there's something deeper. And we just linger on it. It doesn't dwell on it too much, but there is a fleeting moment where I believe it's becoming apparent that actually Niles potentially has much deeper feelings for Daphne than maybe even he would care to admit. And I thought it worked really well in this episode. The last few minutes are fabulous and kind of chaotic. Martin comes up with an idea. He gathers the money that Niles and Fraser have and offers the workers 700 and something dollars to get out as quickly as they can before the wine club comes over and we just have this brilliant scene where everybody's just picking everything up, getting everything out. The pacing is absolutely fantastic. It's an absolute joy. Not everybody left though, because as we see at the very end, Fraser opens the door and Bruce is actually still in the apartment. And I thought it was a nice way to kind of round things off. It's a really good episode. I really thoroughly enjoyed it. I don't No, if I laughed out loud at any point, but I did enjoy quite a lot. As I said, the exchange with honey bun and sugar, I thought, was very well written, very well done. And we do get a meaningful moment with Niles, even if the rest of his behavior wasn't acceptable. But 
what he did ultimately was was really good. It's a nice episode. I doubt it would ever be an all-time favourite. I don't even know if it would be a favourite from season three. But that being said, there is nothing about it I didn't like. There is nothing that I think should have been done differently. Kisses Sweeter Than Wine is all round a pretty brilliant episode.